Hey there guys, this is Flamsron, aka YouTube's Tosuke, and I know this is really, really old, but there's a new Legacy of Kane game coming out called Nosgoth. It's a third-person shooter, and it's free to play, and it's going to be on Steam and probably PS4 and Xbox One. And um, As far as what I think of it, I feel like this is them trying to, one, expand on the lore of Legacy of Cain, because if you're a fan of Legacy of Cain, then you know that one of the biggest aspects of the game is its story. That's The story was it was very detailedly written and very complex, and really, um, the dialogue was also very intelligently written, too. It's just a very story-heavy game. Like, you could, call it, you could call it an RPG if you wanted. Or a story-based game or something. But... I also feel like this is uh, Square Enix trying to see if uh, Legacy of Kane has a market anymore with this kind of with this kind of thing. I think they concluded the story. I mean, I guess they could make another one starring Kane, like the uh, like the uh, uh, Legacy of Kane Defiance version, where he kind of looks like a green dragon person. <sighs> I'm tired. But uh, and ha and bring in a new enemy that actually would be interesting, because I think it's kind of cool. Like after like the big like main bad guys defeated, you bring in a new one. And I'm not I'm talking more. No, I'm not really talking about like in terms of Saint Seiya or Dragon Ball where they rotate villains. I'm talking about like you have like this one main bad guy, then he gets defeated, but then a new one comes in. And even if it's just like a one story kind of thing. Like it really only happens and it, you only really, there's only really just a rotation of just two villains then. <clears throat> then, you know, that's fine. But I think it would be interesting to see what this game will uh, bring out from a standpoint of what will what it will bring to the Legacy of Kane franchise after its release. I'm going to play it. I don't know what team I'm going to, I'll probably alternate. Because I like humans and vampires are pretty cool. I don't think they're trying to alter the timeline any. But. It would be interesting to see what approach they take. With this. I think it's being developed by someone else other than. Um, besides Crystal Dynamics. And I think it's because they're working on the new. The update to Tomb Raider for the PS4 and Xbox One. But. Hopefully, uh, if they can, they'll come back and do like a an act a regular Legacy of Kane game after this game, because I, while I I'm gonna enjoy, it, I don't think it's quite what we're looking for. I feel like this is just sort of like a jump start, like a te a test, a, an appetizer, if you will, to your entree. This is the chips and salsa, and you have to eat this before you get your chicken fingers. See, the joke is that I usually get chips and salsas. And, and anyway, um, overall, we don't know too much about it besides the trailer and and what and like what we've learned from like the developer like Q and A. But hopefully, we'll learn more and see where it actually kind of plays into the how it actually plays into the franchise in terms of what it'll do for it and will it give it more traffic or whatnot. But anyway, that's. All I have to say on this, we'll, hopefully they'll, we'll get more info later on. Flames are on, aka YouTube Sasuke signing out. BAM! Bye.